Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know, I know, I know. I've been missing in action. Uh, please forgive me. Um, a lot has been going on in my life the past few months since the last video um, that I posted where I was actually sitting and updating you guys as to like what is going on um, in my life and uh, the process of healing and the healing journey and everything. Uh, so where do I even start? Like I feel like so much has happened. So from the last like like life update video that I posted, um, we've graduated. We have graduated. We have an alumni. Okay, your girl has graduated. All right, uh, but unfortunately, uh, because of coronavirus. Um, I couldn't graduate, you know, physically dress up. Guys, I even had a dress made. <laughs> I had made myself this beautiful dress. I still hope to wear it one of these days, but for now, it is what it is, <laughs> you know. <laughs> anyway, so, so yeah, I graduated virtually on the 2nd of April, which was a bittersweet day uh, because, you know, I think what kept me going all those years yeah the, the whole eight years was the day that i was going to graduate and then coronavirus was just like you my love when updates we are people where are you going there's no graduation for you so that was quite a bummer so i think i had like i had to take a bit of time to mourn the situation i think at first there was a bit in denial because i was like you know what <laughs> Le corona three months yes i was really naive i was like you know what by june or august uh we're gonna have like an august graduation they're gonna hoy us in there we're definitely gonna have grad this year but you know as we know how the stats are going and how things are going with coronavirus good bird anyway uh and then also another big highlight which is to someone it might sound small but for me it like really is a huge deal um i got my driver's license <laughs> Listen, guys, uh, because I struggle so much with anxiety, um, I didn't think I was going to get it at the first go. Like, literally, I was I was like, I'm going to go there, I'm going to try it out, and we're probably going to fail, but we're going to pay. Um, the 216 again, that's how much we pay in Ghana, 216 to go book again and go try again. But, whew, I got it at the first try. I think that really was God. God really came through because... Even during the, <laughs> even during the, you know, the learning process, like I would just shake, like literally my legs would be like this. And how do you drive when you are just like this? But now, Shem, I am a driver. I am a driver. But that's not what today's video is about. I just wanted to like get that out of the way. Um, especially with the graduation thing, that really hit me hard because, um, I really was looking forward to it and I think I needed to take time to 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 take in what that means for me um and there's so many times that I wanted to like do videos uh and post something but shame like I was just too down um I I was in a bit of a depression loop but um but we thank god we are out um we're doing much much better um I will do a separate video uh, going into more details as to like the mental health part of um, the past few months because um, there are a few things that I really want us to unpack when it comes to mental health but anyway uh, so today's video yes let's get into today's video so today's video I want to talk about stigma like the <sighs> so today's topic will be about stigma and the reason why I want to talk about stigma um, is because it's been bothering me. That's why I want to talk about it. It's been bothering me because I am seeing a lot of young people still dying from HIV and AIDS because they're afraid to, because of they're afraid of the stigma that comes with um, opening up about your status that you have HIV and AIDS. Um, I've had conversations with people who are afraid to, 
to talk about their mental illness because they are afraid that they're gonna suffer the stigma that comes with um with opening up about your mental health and you and 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 talking about the fact that you have mental health because having conversations about mental health yes maybe there might be more conversations these days but it's still there's still so much stigma like um surrounding issues of, of mental health in our black communities uh, people go as far as saying that there is no such thing as depression, right? They're like, that is why people things like don't come here with your depression and your anxiety. Those things don't exist. They're all in your mind. I've heard, I've heard that, you know, and then you go to the church circles. People want to say that, okay, if you come out and you say you have like some sort of mental illness, it's like, baby girl has it the money. We need to cast that thing out you know so it's it's it, it then becomes so difficult for people to actually reach out and talk about uh these issues and then when someone now um succumbs to suicide then people will be like why didn't you say something why didn't they talk yazi you know and i'm just like but thing is when i came out and i wanted to talk about um those things y'all were on some it doesn't exist so crazy um and that's a problem you know um and a few weeks back i actually did like um um one of those question ask question thingies on on on, on instagram and i was asking people um on my instagram and on my whatsapp you know i was asking people like guys what's what's, what's with the stigma you know you know what causes um uh stigma you know uh, and a lot of people really shared that the common thing that really came out was that it's ignorance you know uh, and i think i've seen that a lot with 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 mental health that there's still so so much ignorance that's attached to um what mental health is and people just they just don't want to they they don't want to educate themselves excuse me they don't want to educate themselves they don't want to uh learn um, they want to hold on to these false, um, these false ideas that they have about mental health, and I'm just like, what do you have to back the to to back up what you're saying? Like, or, or you're just saying things. Yeah, so what what is it that you have to back up what you're saying? Or you you're just you're kulu manji. You're just you're just talking for the sake of talking. And I actually want to read you something that like a friend of mine said. Like I was just like, oh my word, this is so true. Okay, I just need to find it. I need to find it. Why didn't I put it like why didn't why 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 didn't I put it somewhere close? Ooh shout. Shall shall shout. Ooh ooh shout. Okay, I can't find it. Yes. So this is what a friend of mine said when 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 I asked like what causes uh, mental illness stigma, right? And she was like, personally, I think it's mostly denial, right? Having to accept that it exists means that we have to rethink a whole lot of our norms and ways of treating people that we have accepted as being normal, but are not necessarily healthy. So stigmatizing means, it means that people also don't have to do the internal work and something that most of us run away from. And I was just like, listen, listen, this is it. This is it. Because um, it doesn't make sense that why would we still want to hold on to, um, to, to ways that are not healthy, like that are, that are damaging other kids. People are, end up committing suicide because... Um, they they feel like they're on this mental illness struggle alone, but it's because society as society we don't want to do the internal work. We don't want to work on ourselves. We don't want to address the real issues. We just want to be like, listen, 
why do I have to change? Why do, why do I have to change the way I see this mental illness thing? And also another thing, when it hasn't hit close to home, Yazi, <laughs> when it hasn't hit close to home, you will still have the this ignorance thing. And But I feel like it doesn't have to, it doesn't have to be that way. It doesn't have to be a thing of like, we need to wait for it to happen to someone close to us or for it to happen to us. I feel like we need to, we need to do better. We need to do better. We can't still be like losing young people to mental illness in this day and age. We still can't be losing young people to HIV and AIDS in this day and age simply because we don't want to do the internal work, you know, of, 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 of stopping this nonsense of, of stigmatizing people, you know, uh, or, or, or stigmatizing th these illnesses. Um, we still can't. We can't, <laughs> oh, guys. Ah, oh. yeah, man. I I even fail to articulate myself uh, when it comes to this topic because it really, really breaks my heart. You know. So I realized that my knowledge around HIV and AIDS was very textbook. It was very old, like, like very, very textbook. Um, and having been diagnosed with 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 an HIV related illness then i was just like actually like i actually don't know a lot i learned a lot in my six months you know where i had to be taking my 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 tb treatment um and that was such an eye opener for me to actually realize that listen girl you need to educate yourself you need to educate yourself you know um and it's very sad that there's still young people today who are who are afraid of even going to to the clinic to start even taking that to start taking medication to start taking ARVs because of the stigma that surrounds that surrounds HIV and AIDS and I feel like it's so sad because there are many people who are living positively you know who are living with HIV and AIDS who who are living with HIV? I should stop. You see, see how textbook it is. I still say HIV. I still combine the two. You know, who are living with HIV, and are living posi positively. You know, they're living so positively. There's actually this one YouTuber that I'm going to link her channel down below because I feel like she does this topic so much justice. Um, her name is Nozi. I just forgot her surname. Uh, but like like I said, I'm gonna link her channel down below, and she. Wow, she does an amazing job of just, you know, opening her life up to us and sharing her journey and sharing how she found out um, that she was HIV and, and how she's been living life, you know, and now she's happily married. Listen, y'all need to go check out her channel. Y'all need to go check it out because, wow, um, I think for me, that also was a great eye opener to see that this thing is not a death sentence. You know, it's not a death sentence if you take your medication. Um as you're supposed to um you can live a full life you know um and i know it's not easy to take medication you know i had to take medication for six months and wow the first few months i was just like it's a lot you know but um but the support um that i had from the the nurses and the, the healthcare workers at the clinic really really helped uh, so in closing, I just want to talk to, I want to talk to people who, who are struggling with mental illness, you know, um, and just to encourage you that, um, you're okay. There is nothing wrong with you because you have, you struggle with mental illness, um, and that it's okay to reach out. For help you know reach out for help reach out and talk to someone um find someone that is easy to talk to and just talk to someone and just find help um you don't need to suffer alone you don't need to carry this burden alone um it's it's you don't have to so you can find help you can get the help that you need um and for someone who who maybe just found out that they are HIV positive. It's not the end of the world. It is not the end of the world. Um, 
you can still live a full life you can still live a healthy life um just take your medication and and find people who who will be able to support you who will be able to stand uh with you uh whether you're positive or you're hi whether you're negative or whatever who will just see you for you you know um so like i said especially with people who are struggling with um with with accepting you know the hiv and aids status please 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 go check out uh Nose's channel um i really found like her story to be very very uplifting um i know that there are other people on facebook as well i just i just couldn't find i tried whilst making this video i actually tried to find um the the this one lady that i saw also on facebook but i just i, I couldn't find her anymore i like have a tendency of not saving these things i need to learn to save but yeah but nausea is 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 one of the people that you can actually go check out who really really does an amazing job um in 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 you know addressing you know living with hiv and aids and then when it comes to mental illness and 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 depression and anxiety i will also link uh put uh certain links that you can follow uh on Instagram um, there's a lot of like Instagram pages that you can actually follow that I use personally and I find really really helpful there is a huge community of, 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 of mental illness survivors out there people who are living full lives um, even though they struggle with mental illness um, and yeah so so yeah I'll link all those all, all those um, things in the description down below and let's do better for people who who don't necessarily struggle with mental illness let's do the work of trying to educate ourselves uh when it comes to issues surrounding mental illness you know the same way you would go out of your way to educate yourself um about um about issues surrounding COVID-19, what we are doing now when we are like educating ourselves that we need to wash our hands, we need to do this, we need to do this in order for us to be safe. We need to do the same uh, pertaining uh, mental health and HIV and AIDS. We need to do that, you know, um, and, and act as, as a better support system for those who are actually struggling. Because from a person who has struggled with, with, with mental illness, I know it's not easy to, to open up and talk about these things, you know, uh, but when you actually do find that person who is, is is willing to learn from you and is is willing to go and do their research uh pertaining this thing and do the internal work um it then becomes such a such a bliss you know and such an easy journey to walk uh with such a person so i hope i made sense okay i tend to ramble and 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 and, and you know i hope this help this video does help someone um so yeah that's what i wanted to talk about today um and i will see you guys in my next video i uh, promise to upload more yeah so yeah but i'll see you in my next video peace